Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, thoughts on the Torah and life. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So we're in the series of prayer. Hopefully by now, we have some perspective on the idea of prayer. But let's get a little more technical. Where is the correct place to pray? Where should one pray? Now, first of all, it's obvious that if you believe in God, and that's the reason why you're praying, we know that God is everywhere. So I don't need to have a specific location, so to speak, or a certain structure in order to be able to reach God. I can reach God from my home. I can reach God from my car. Wherever I am, God can hear me. That is true. And that's absolute. However, we, that is the human being who is praying to God, we need to express not only our faith in the fact that God can hear us, but moreover, our respect and reverence for the greatness of God. And therefore, we must prepare ourselves. We must set the proper venue, atmosphere, so to speak, when we're going to pray to God. In other words, it's not he that's limited, but we need to, because we're limited, we need to take certain actions, make certain technical steps in order to express Truly, our, not only faith, but our reverence, our respect, our honor to God. So it's obvious that when one proposes and is to get married, you look for the proper venue. You're not going to hold a wedding ceremony in a junkyard. It's just not because there's anything wrong. Not because you're afraid of the threat of getting dirty and full of grease. But it just doesn't make sense. It's not the proper venue. It's not befitting the circumstance, the situation, the occasion. Likewise, you're doing a swearing-in ceremony. You're not going to do it in a, in a public bathroom. Correct? It just it doesn't fit, even if it's spotlessly clean. Even if everybody can fit in there. It's just not the place for it. Likewise, true, like I said in the beginning, you do not have to be restricted to a certain type of structure or a specific place, a, spe a certain address in order to pray to God. You can pray. And in fact, I encourage you, you should pray in your home. Turn your home into a place where you pray, where you worship God. However, have a special spot for it. Create somewhat of an intimate space. You don't have to put any special ornaments or anything. Especially, God forbid, if you can cross, if you cross that line and it becomes a little idolatrous. But rather, it should be a spot that is special. Everybody has their space where they like to eat their dinner, where they like to watch their special shows. Likewise, and even more so, you should have that special space where you typically pray. This is your place. Of course, you're not restricted to it. If you're out in the street, you're out and about, and you feel a need, a desire to talk to God, of course, it doesn't preclude you from doing that. But when you are in a structured manner, so to speak, in your scheduled time of prayer, it should be in a designated place if you only can. And that place should be sacred. That place should be special. So by you going there, you're putting yourself in a setting of before you even open your mouth, you're saying, God, I respect you. I honor you. I revere you. Here's my special place I'm going into in order to worship you. That's a start, technically speaking.